David a two under feet here at Atkinson. What's your thoughts after that? Um, it's probably the first time since I've been here that I felt really let down, if I'm being honest, by the players and, and as a group we have to take some collective responsibility. It's nowhere near good enough. We, we come, uh, we're slow to set up from a set play, which they all know their roles, but they don't do the jobs again. A um, little bit like at Stockport, the ball comes in the box, it's 4v1 and he heads it in. and. Um, that's really disappointing. And then again, in the second half, you know, you're starting to get on top. You brought on a couple of subs. And um, yeah, we concede from a set play and, and you're looking, you're thinking, look, today was probably the first day when, when I looked at the team, they hadn't done anything that we'd practiced or very little. Um, and there's probably many reasons for it, but unless you, like you talk about confidence, winning games gives you confidence, doing your job that gives you confidence. And today, all of us, we didn't do it. And, and it's, um, it's a game, even as poorly as we played, we probably, with the chances we've had, still should get a point out of it, maybe even nick a win. Like, so, yeah, really, really disappointed. I feel, I feel really disappointed today. And, and listen, I've just said to them that we got to come out on Tuesday and go, we got to fight. Like, if, if anything, we should show more energy and enthusiasm. There could be technical mistakes and bits and pieces like that, but that's neither here nor there. The fans want to see effort, desire. They want to see... Um, a positive attitude and that wasn't what they saw today. Well, what has been frustrating is I thought we started the first half fairly well without creating much. But it's those clinical moments that like you talked about before and when they happen not in your favour, it's, it's confidence again, isn't it? Yeah, it knocks you and we, we get into so many promising positions. It's probably the bit where people chuck about the how many goals we score, how many goals we conceded. I don't, can't remember how many times they got behind and could square it across and didn't quite get it right. And we have three or four of them a game and we have some headers from seven yards out, probably four of them today, where it's like, oh, what a real easy chance. And sometimes as a coach, and, and we're good coaches, sometimes coaching isn't enough. And I'm looking and thinking like, now you have to force the ball in the net. And what we do, we're so tentative and everything's so precise and it's, it's, it lacks conviction. And there does come a point where you look at the team and you think, well, hang on a minute, you can, like, you get in, you play through, you get behind, come on, you have to deliver and they have to take some individual responsibility on those moments. You spoke pretty much about wanting to shake out of that culture of playing well at 2-0 down. I think that's the third time we've scored in the 84th minute already this season and that must, must just be hugely frustrating. Yeah, really frustrating. Now, look, there's, there's a couple of bits. Again, we bring on subs and I think they improve us a lot and they'll be ready to start for next week. And I've got no choice now. They have to start. I have to get, I have to get them on the pitch really, really quickly. They're not going to be the answer, but they definitely help. Um, you know, you see Dabo's quality for the cross and his power. You see Jacob carry the ball at the pitch. You see Callum Morton, to be fair, was a handful and could roll. And, and then there's, a, there's good combinations. But to be honest, Matty Taylor made some great runs today and didn't get put in in the first half. It's, and it is, it's that. It, at some point as a group, collectively, me included, me most, um, we got to go for it. And I think we come off with so many regrets all the time and that's not the style of football that I wanted to bring. I wanted to be fast, forward paced football and it's, it's not, it's not. And I have to do better with my communication to the players clearly because that's not what's going on. But sometimes I think it's more than really good coaching. It's probably been my biggest learning. It's not about really good coaching. It's about getting a group in there that is determined to drive the team forward. And, and I've fell short on that at the moment. It is the FL Trophy on Tuesday, but is it? A bigger, bigger game now for these group of players because they've, they've got a point to prove, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. It won't be, um, there'll be obviously some rotation in the team because some, some need some game time and, and we've got a big, massive game next Saturday now at home to Colchester. So, yeah, every game for us at the moment in form we're in is, is huge. So we need to go and attack it.